Trait silent. For a doll, head. the guy does a lot of damage. <laughs> I remember this too. <laughs> Well, well, I would you really watch kick the hell out of that and today bro. we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Chucky kills. Yeah, that boy Andy. Before he, he we begin, not leave Andy we publish alone. new videos every day. So be sure to subscribe for more head. great content. For this list, we're looking at our favorite slays perpetrated by the psychopathic doll throughout the entire series and ranking them based on a variety of factors, including their creativity and importance to the story. Was it just me or I wanted to see how Chucky Hold on. <laughs> Yo, I remember that one, bro, because, like, literally, Chucky. Hold on, boy. Yes. What do you say? I'm on that one. Yo, because if they caught a heart attack and died, Chucky was like, you gotta be effing kidding me. <laughs> Number 10. Yo, that Jill, me. Curse of Chucky. Sometimes all Chucky needs is a bucket of water and a bit of electricity. After some intense buildup, Are you see serious, Chucky brother? crawling on the floor and popping up behind Jill. She finally notices him standing at the foot of her bed. He decides to forego an extravagant death as he simply kicks over a bucket of water and lets Yo, Jill. Is that actually real? Wait, it's a plug in the ground. The rest. I have never seen that in my life. Mm -hmm. It's a relatively it used to be. tame kill compared to some yeah, of the others so found throughout the series. But the editing, lighting, and music make for a tense scene rather than an overly Ooh, violent one. That, uh, hey, Welcome hey, back ooh, to the world that of look horror, creepy. Chucky. That egg look creepy as a mug. Can't live with him. You worried about the wrong Period. thing. That you look weird. <laughs> you worried about the wrong thing. Number nine. Yo, what is this? Yo, what is that? Yo, be Mr. Sullivan, time, Child's bro. Play 3. Hey, wanna play? Hey, wanna, wanna play? play? Chucky yeah, no, just bad. loves to play with his victims. Well, he is a doll after all. This drawn out murder starts when Chucky spills a bunch of marbles, which causes Sullivan to fall on his ass. The doll then <laughs> scares Sullivan with various toys before appearing out of nowhere and smashing him over the head with a golf club. <laughs> Next, he throws darts into his back and yo. hands before finally strangling him with a yo-yo. Yo, look at Chucky's yeah, reaction, is a bro. little goofy, but it's all in good fun. <laughs> and it opens the relatively yo, crappy third so installment on man. a high note. Just like the good old days. I used to Number be eight, so scared wire of you. decapitation. Seed of Chucky. Listen, if you want them to work, I'm going to have to take them apart. The series definitely took a more comedic turn with Bride and Seed, but that doesn't mean they neglected the gloriously violent kills. They're just, you know, a little sillier. Okay, a lot sillier. After Tony Gardner discovers that the Tiffany doll has a spine, both she and Chucky share a kill by decapitating him with piano wire. It's up. <gasps> His head flies at the camera like a 3D There's movie. There's no way that made it to the top 10, bro. And Chuck Chucky and got way more cooler kills Tiff than that. make out while his corpse spews no blood behind them. I was the saying, movie clearly no way they does not that, take bro. itself very seriously. And while some may lament the gloriously campy scenes, others, like us, bro. love them. Why do like Fruit Punch? Oh, oh that's just nasty. Okay, that's just nasty. That's just nasty. Number 7, Dr. Ardmore, Child's Play. <laughs> and we're going Yo. right back to horror. Yo. While the first installment wasn't as good as the didn't others, know what to do, it bro. is arguably the most horrifying of them all, thanks to scenes like this. After Andy is met and restrained by Dr. Ardmore, Chucky stabs him in the leg before fitting him with an electroshock therapy device. He then, well, fries the doctor until his mouth and eyeballs Ooh. bleed. This is all done in front of Andy, and all he can do is hopelessly stagger away while watching the man sizzle. It's a Ooh. hopelessly bleak scene. But Yo, those are the ones I'm not gonna lie though, you gotta think hope. about it, bro. Andy was like seven, seven, eight is being tormented by a by a possessed doll, bro. If that did, if that don't don't haunt you for the rest of your life, I don't know what would, bro. And the doll was trying to take his soul. Like, like, it's, be excited that I got somebody to box with. You wild and gangy. <laughs> Horror movies. <laughs> and it looked like that, bro. Chief bruh. Warren Kincaid, Bride of Chucky. Who's there? What are we you doing? We don't know why John Ritter agreed to be in this movie, but at least his Dropping death scene kicks ass. 
for after a... Tiffany tells Chucky to make like Martha Stewart and improvise because stabbing is so 1970s he Yo, rigs up some nails to the van's glove compartment Martha when Stewart. Kincaid notices the nails Tiff gives the order and Chucky shoots the nails into his face I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Instantly. No. I thought Martha Stewart was like a singer. As if that wasn't good enough. Chucky then makes a not so subtle Hellraiser reference, which every horror fan should immediately recognize and love. Why does that look so familiar? Bride does tread into camp territory, but scenes like this proved that the series still had some good horror gas left in the tank. What are we doing here? Who is breathing in the mic? No, what would Martha Stewart do? Number five, Bro, factory worker, Child's Play 2. I hate kids. Chalk this one up to sheer stupidity. Uh. After a machine breaks down, a factory worker is forced to fix it. Unluckily for him, Chucky is there, complete with a newly fashioned knife arm that he uses to slice the guy across the cheek. He's then strapped into the doll making machine and given a new pair of doll eyes. Ooh. Okay, this death is cool and all, but shouldn't this guy have shut down the machine before sticking his face in there? That just screams unsafe work practices. Regardless, it's still a horrifying way to go, and the resulting image is Ooh. nightmare inducing. Number four, so Tiffany, Bride of I Chucky. Just can't. Hey, no, it's old, souls don't just like, transfer themselves, yeah. you know. Chucky decides to kill Tiffany so that he can shunt her soul into a doll. And he decides to do this while she's in the bathtub. The kill begins with Chucky rushing in with a knife while screaming like a banshee, only for Tiffany to kick him square in the face. <laughs> Despite her stellar defense, Chucky succeeds in pushing a TV into the bathtub, which electrocutes and kills Tiffany. <laughs> Yo, Chucky nice laugh is hilarious, and, bro. and it perfectly captures what makes Bride such a unique entry in the series. Bro, are you 40? Oh, good thing it's a skippable. I need to get, I need to get YouTube Premium, Number bro. Number three, I can't keep doing John, this. Child's Play. Hi. I remember, I remember this scene. Chucky makes a horrifying discovery when he learns he can bleed, despite being a doll. So he goes to John for answers. After John refuses to give up information, Chucky tortures him by using a voodoo doll to break his leg and arm. We don't know why John has a voodoo doll of himself, but whatever. Sure, how do you want it? Broken leg? Oh! The combination of horrific sound design and grotesque visuals is sure to make anyone wince in their chairs. But the brutality isn't over yet. After learning what he needs to know, Chucky stabs John in the heart, which goes to show what a truly awful monster he is. Number two, Miss Oh, I Kettlewell, love this kill. I love this kill. I'm not gonna lie. Pause real quick. Pause real quick. Pause real quick. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I knew I hate you bringing up One Piece, but that reminds me of Law, bro, so much, bro. With the heart jump. Oh my, oh my gosh. I wasn't even thinking about that. Low key. You think this is funny? I didn't do that. What's on the After paper? After Miss Kettlewell gives Andy detention and throws Chucky in the closet. Wait, Chucky wait, 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 wait. Y'all saw that? Wait, 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 wait. Does this Chucky say I think has it does? A After Miss Kettlewell gives Andy detention on, the and at? throws Chucky. B I T T A. Dang. Chucky in the closet. Yo, Chucky ain't no way she thought Andy knew that was an Easter egg. Ain't no way. What he said. Relentlessly bangs on the door. After a very tense minute of investigating, Kettlewell is stabbed by Chucky and theatrically collapses into a bunch of desks. Gosh, dang. <laughs> Chucky then Yo. beats her to death with a yardstick, complete with dramatic cues from the music and progressive <laughs> zoom outs from the camera. Jeez, we couldn't imagine being beaten to death with a yardstick by a doll. But then again, Are you we let Chucky don't do really this to you, bro? To. Yo, Chucky, <laughs> Chucky used to kill me, bro. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Oh, I remember this. Hey, that's disgusting. That is so disgusting. Bristol, you dead. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs>
Oh, Number one, oh, Maggie, kid. Child's Play. Despite its relative straightforwardness, oh, not Maggie. she Maggie's died. death is easily the best murder of the entire series. Wait. The process begins with Maggie anxiously searching the apartment. Oh, I remember and this. And it ends when Chucky smacks her in the face with a hammer. I'm scaring myself half to death. It causes her to crash through the window and fall onto a car below. The scene is suitably tense, and the effects of Maggie falling and slamming into the car still look great 30 years Ooh. later. Ooh. This is also Chucky's first kill of the entire series, so it deserves points for that alone. Sometimes the simplest deaths are the most memorable. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these hey, other. Nah.